Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. One try. One try. And you get what everybody's been talking about. Hey, hey, hey. Wonder why you didn't ever know about. No. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hi, food explorers. Are you ready for more? So far, we've explained to our grown-ups all about what's in our food and different ways we can explore what we eat. So they might be wondering by now, where does our food come from? Ready? Let's dig in. All fruits and vegetables grow in the ground, starting out as a seed. We plant them in the ground and they grow and grow and grow until they become the plants that you can see, like fruits and vegetables. There are six parts to most plants and different fruits and vegetables come from different parts of the plant. Each one starts out as a seed and then goes on to grow roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and some grow fruit. Let's talk about the different fruits and vegetables that come from different parts of the plant. Roots grow underground, so that means that root foods that we eat start out growing underground too. That includes vegetables like beets and onions. Stems include vegetables like asparagus and chives. Brussels sprouts, cabbage, celery, and spinach are actually the leaves of the plant. And believe it or not, broccoli and artichoke are considered flowers. Fruits are what we may be more familiar with, and that includes some of our favorite snacks like strawberries, figs, blueberries, mango, cherries, apples, pear, and even zucchini. I like to eat nutritious fruits and vegetables in many ways. Sometimes I eat fruits on their own or as an ingredient in recipes with other foods. Fruits and vegetables can even go through a process to become a packaged snack. So let's talk about food that comes in a package. When food comes in a package, it can be harder to know everything that's inside and everything that went into making the food. That's why it's important to check the label anytime we eat packaged food. The ingredient part of the label tells us all the ingredients that were used to make that food. Let's check out this label. Wow, this only contains apples and mangoes. Next time your grown up is grocery shopping, why don't you show them how to check the label so they know all the ingredients that are in their food. Now that we understand how some of the food that we eat is grown, wouldn't it be fun to grow some of our own food? Some people have gardens where they can grow plants, but you don't need a garden or even a whole lot of space to grow a plant. In fact, all you really need is a seed and a few things you can find around your house to get started. Check out the How to Grow Food lesson plan at that'sitfruit.com slash smartapple to get started on your own. Have fun, my food explorer friends. That's it for this lesson. We took an apple and some strawberries, blueberries, mangoes, bananas, figs, and red cherries. A happy, healthy treat for you, so fabulous and fun. Pick your favorite flavors and taste them on your tongue. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. One try. One try. And you get what everybody's been talking about. Hey, hey, hey. Wonder why you didn't ever know about. No. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And it's real fruit.